Okay, so the question it was asking us to determine the energy. Okay, so we know the energy can be equal to uh, the total energy can be equal to k times q1 q4 over r plus k times q2 q4 over r and plus k times q3 q4 over r. Q1, Q2, Q3 here is the three different charges, and Q4 is our target charges, which is the charge that um, move from the infinity to position C. And R here is the distance from Q1, Q2, Q3 to Q4, and all of them are equal to two meter, okay? Which is the distance from Q1, Q2, Q3 to position C, which is equal to two meter, okay? And if we do some arrangement, we'll have KQ4 over R times Q1, Q2, Q3 is equal to the total energies. And for question A, we know that Q1, Q2, Q3 is equal to Q, which is given as uh, 10.0 times 10 to the power of negative 4 coulombs. And if we do some arrangement, we'll have U is equal to K times Q4 of R times 3Q, which is, is equal to 3K Q times Q4 of R. Okay. And now we plug in the numbers. We'll have U is equal to 3 times 9 times 10 to the power of 9 newton times meter square per coulomb square and n times q which is 10.0 times 10 to the power of negative 4 coulombs and n times the charge on q4 which is positive 3.0 times 10 to the power of uh, negative 5 coulombs which is simply times 3.0 times 10 to the power of uh, negative 5 coulombs Okay, and then over R, which is the distance from all the charges to the Q4, which is given as 2.0 meter. Okay, so over 2.0 meter. And this will give us the total energy is 405 Joule. Okay, so since the total energy is uh, 405 you that means the the work done that need to require to move the charge to the point C is four by 405 you as well okay so for question B it was asking us what is the work done or the total energy that require if if in this time uh, the charges are different since Q1 and Q4 is equal to each other, and their charge is equal to negative 0.01 coulombs, and Q2 is equal to positive 0.01 coulombs. Well, um, oop. So for question B, this is the equation I get, which is U equal to, it's the same equation, which is uh, U equal to K times Q1 Q4 over R plus K times Q2 Q4 over R plus K times Q3 Q4 over R. And it, it will give us U is simply equal to K times Q4 over R times Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. And in this time, Q3, Q1 and Q3 is equal to negative 0.01 coulombs, and Q2 is equal to positive 0.01 coulombs. And if we plug in the values, we have U is equal to K, which is 9 times 10 to the power of 9 Newton times meter square per coulomb square times Q4, which is 3.0 times 10 to the power of negative 5 coulombs over R which is the distance from all the charges to Q4, which is given as 2.0 meter, times Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3, which is negative 0.01 coulombs, plus negative 0.01 coulombs, plus the positive um, 0.01 coulombs, okay? And this will give us the total energy that required to move the charge Q4 from uh, infinity to position C is negative 1350 Joule. Okay, so these are my answers for this question. Thank you.